when Angola went through three decades of civil war, it decimated the country, it decimated the countryside. No trees, few buildings, and I think it in some ways decimated the people. Working in various uh, countries with the United Nations, uh, with the World Bank, and uh, I have witnessed it firsthand, you know, the suffering of the people and the devastation not only of the infrastructure, but of the human being. Uh, children being orphaned, households being led by children. These kinds of issues are reality, and the scars of war live on. And uh, the long term, they can only be healed by good, solid, high quality education. No civil society can exist without education and um, very few societies can advance without higher education. So it's important to support the development of that everywhere in the world, here as well as abroad. History has shown multiple times when you build a university it becomes an anchor for the community, for the economy. There are a whole lot of things that result from starting with that deep educational foundation. The more we can educate people, uh, the better, more opportunities people have and the chance that they can reach their, their dreams. And I think that the university will be, for those students who go, an opportunity to expand and to be their best selves. And I think even for those who don't go, it's a symbol. It's a symbol of it's possible. It's possible. And that edifice that will be there will stand, I think, as a symbol of hope. I love the aspect that um Females especially are given the opportunity to go to school. The health of communities is often um, built on the back of women. And so I'm just excited that Cheer Circle is making it possible for people to be able to continue their education, no matter what gender they are. The concept of this idea was the response to a real need on the ground. The people want it, and we are trying to respond to that. And so to have it be something that is um, going to be empowering for those people and to have um, leaders from Africa to be leading this university rather than an outside entity coming in and saying, here's how you should do it, it's coming from the Angolan people. And the next step for, for people in, in a country that, that need that um, higher education would be to have that university right there. You know, development happens with um, more ed education. If you've ever been in a situation where the environment looks hopeless um, and you don't know where to go, those, those young people are going to have to figure something out. And it's either going to be despair or a commitment to perhaps a cause that we can't understand nor sanction. Or they see the opportunity to create new things, to build businesses, to create new knowledge, support their families, build this prosperous community. Um, I've got to guess most people would choose that. So people should care about what has is, what is happened uh, in, in Angola. And a dollar given will go a long, long way to turn around the quality of life uh, of that child uh, with no mother, with no father, with no food, with no house. It is money where you will actually see those bricks, you know, where you will actually see that roof where you'll actually see those textbooks. When a group of people went to visit, they were on a bus on the way to the airport. And it was early morning, and they saw off in the distance this parking lot, you know, and there were, was one of those big lights shining down, and under the light were high school kids doing their homework because they couldn't do their homework at home because there was no light. Man, oh man, you know, if kids are willing to get up in the middle of the night to sit under a light in a parking lot to get their education, I want to support that. Andaremos em medo de minas e de para todos lados sem.